Welcome to the Raw Food Health Empowerment Show. Thank you for joining me. I am your host, Samantha Salmon, certified holistic health coach and author of You Can Afford to Be Healthy. And today we are talking about what reduces high blood pressure. Okay, and I, this is going to be really quick because I know you guys who are following me already know this information. So if you have a loved one that is suffering from high blood pressure, share this video with them. There's a lot of great resources in the description to this video, so make sure you share it with them. This is life-saving information, okay? So there are four things I'm going to mention. And if you're live with me here, I see some people live. Uh, just give me a like, a thumbs up, um, or say hi in the comments so I can, you know, see you, see who you are. Uh, there's four things I'm going to mention that have been shown to decrease blood pressure, okay? Um, a low-fat, whole food, vegan diet. And what does that look like, low-fat? Basically, less than 15% of your caloric uh, intake for the day in fat. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, definitely click on the blog where I go in detail on what alleviates uh, high blood pressure, okay? And so we're talking about legumes, vegetables, fruits. And if you are interested in learning how to actually put balanced meals together that fit this profile to help with some of these ailments, um, you should click on that link and join us on this free seven week eat real food challenge, uh, program that we're all doing. It's leading up to Lent, which we will be doing raw for Lent. So definitely join us. Lots of support, but a low fat whole foods vegan diet is one crucial. Then there's exercise, and you might be asking, well, how much exercise? I don't know if you've heard of something called minimal effective dose exercise, or basically it's just the least amount of exercise you need to accomplish a goal. So if your goal is to decrease hypertension or to lower uh, blood pressure, then research has shown that you basically need 9 to 12 minutes of high-impact uh, vigorous activity to lower blood pressure. So that's basically all you need every day. Um, there's also stress management. Exercise plays into that because exercise helps you relieve stress. Why? Because in the body, stress and um, in the body, stress and relaxation cannot occur simultaneously. So if the body's feeling stressed, it won't feel relaxed and vice versa. When you exercise, you're relaxing the body, depending on if this the, a specific type of exercise just doesn't jive with you at all. Maybe you hate a certain type of activity. And so, of course, that's that may induce a stress response. So you definitely want to do a type of exercise that you love and enjoy. Um, but there are also other ways to reduce stress, like restorative yoga is one of my favorite things to do. Diffuse essential oils is one of my favorite things. Making sure to get uh, seven to eight hours of sleep um, all helpful. So definitely, if you want to learn more ways to reduce stress in your body, you want to make sure you join the challenge so you're part of our group because we talk about this stuff all the time, okay? Then the last and final thing that I want to mention is fasting. So Dr. Furman says in his book that um, he's seen people who fasted for four days only and have lowered their their blood pressure. So it really doesn't take much, okay? But you're not going to go into fasting and then go back to a high-fat, um, acidic, inflammatory diet because that is going to really undo whatever progress that, you know, that you get from making these changes. So you want to make sure you do all these four things and keep that in mind because high blood pressure, yes, stress induces it, but there are things that you can do. That's why we call this the show, the Raw Food Health Empowerment Show, because there are things that you can do to empower yourself to take control of your health 
and help your doctor out, right? So you don't have to be dependent on pharmaceutical drugs and taking statins and all this kind of crazy stuff that actually ruins our body long term, okay? So we want to take control of our health and this is how you do it. So I want to encourage you to forget moderation when it comes to stuff like this. Why? Because high blood pressure is so uh, dangerous to have, right? You don't want to just have a stroke randomly or a heart attack randomly. You want to do something now to get the body ready and good to go for your daily life. So it's not just going to, you know, expire way before it's time, right? So you want to just make a change right now. Like if you were smoking cigarettes and having issues with your lungs, I wouldn't say, oh, well, why don't you lower three packs a day to just two packs a day or one pack a day, right? That wouldn't make any sense. That's not going to fix the problem. So it's the same thing with diet and lifestyle, right? You need to go all in. Don't just dip your toe in and be like, I'm going to do meatless Mondays or whatever. Yes, it helps, but you're not going to stay there forever, okay? And expect things to change. If you want a radical change, if you want to be whole and healthy, then you need to do all of these things and make that part of your lifestyle. So like I said, click on the link, learn more about high blood pressure and how you can reduce it and join us on the seven week challenge, the eat real food challenge and learn how to put your plate together. And you know, let's get, it's not even about getting snatched, even though that's a byproduct. <laughs> Uh, it's not about getting snatched for the new year. It's about cleaning up our internal organs and supporting the body so it can heal itself like it's meant to do. And that's what we're doing January and February. And then for March, we're doing raw for Lent. And then in April, we are going to assess. We're going to do a clean sweep of our body and our lifestyle in the group. So you want to jump on board from now and join us on this journey. If you need assistance and encouragement and support on being physically active, on eating well, what foods to eat, what recipes to prepare, and just be around like-minded people so you have the support because for a lot of people that are getting started on the plant-based journey, they're in households where they're the only one. So it's good to connect with people who are passionate about this and they're on the same journey as you. So click on the link in the description and I look forward to seeing you all in the group and on the challenge. And did I mention on the challenge, I am tracking your progress. So there will be points along the way where you're checking in on your stats so we can track progress because I know you're going to lose weight. You're going to clean up your diet. You're going to, you know, experience all these great things. And I want to capture that for you, encourage you along the way. Okay. So have a bless, bless, uh, Martin Luther King day. And remember his quote. I love his quote where he said, he talks about taking the first step, even if you can't see the end, just take the first step, go with that leap of faith. And with everything in life, this is how you have to approach it. You don't know what the end of the journey looks like because there is no end of the journey, right? We're always learning, growing, evolving, but you want to take faith, have faith, and just move forward, all right? Take care. Have a blessed day.